Okay, guys. Now I have my makeup off. Um, except for my eye makeup. I'm leaving that on. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and first impressions on Maybelline. The new Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. The new Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Powder. The new Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio Primer. I got mine in Blur Plus Illuminate 200. The new Maybelline uh, Brow Drama uh, Tinted Gel Mousse, and mine is in Auburn, which I have not opened yet. And the new Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio Concealer, and mine is in Medium, which I have not even opened yet. So right now I'm just going to open this real quick. And then also on the new Maybelline The Blooms Lipsticks. So this is just going to be my first impressions and review on the new Maybelline products that I picked up. All in one video since I have pretty much all the stuff. So, now, first things first, we're going to start off with the primer. So this is what it looks like. It is Blur Plus Illuminate 200. It says visibly... Blurs tone, imperfections, and smooth skin surface. Prime skin for an illuminated start. Lightweight, non-oily formula. Does not clog pores. Okay, so we're going to start off with this. And the reason I got the pink one is because I've tried every other primer, like the green to get rid of redness, the silicone-based primer. I wanted something different. So it comes out pink. Let's see what this baby does. Let me move my hair. I need some more. Okay, um, yeah, it feels kind of dry, the primer. Like I'm feeling my face right now and it's very dry. But let's see how it works once we add the foundation and stuff. Uh, yeah, this primer is very, I don't know, we'll have to see once we get the foundation going. So I got mine in 310 Sun Beige, same as the powder. This is the Maybelline Matte Plus Poreless Fit Me Foundation, normal to oily skin. Okay, I'm going to take a Real Techniques um, Expert Face Brush and just start. Okay, it does dry fast. That's one thing. Like, you, I can already feel it just like setting already. But the feeling, I don't know. I did do a first impressions of this in one video when I was using it. But I wanted to do it all the Maybelline together in one video. I like I said in that video, this foundation is no different than the other one, the regular Maybelline Fit Me. I recommend if you do want to pick this new line up to pick up the dewy one to give you that luminous look, but this matte plus poreless, I don't notice a difference. It feels the same to me as it does. The original. I don't see no pores covered up, nothing. As you can see, it's not really full coverage. 
Okay, now let's add the powder. Not like that's going to make a difference, but let's just add it. And I'm going to use this Kabuki brush by e.l.f. Which I'm throwing out because it's done. We're done. We're not in a relationship anymore. No, I like this brush, but this one's old. Time to get a new one. This is from somebody I do not talk to anymore, so I don't want it. I want to purchase my own. The powder is the same, like I said in that video, the same as the other powder. What I really want to try. So seriously guys, this is just like the original Fit Me line. I don't see a difference. And I've used it before, so I don't notice a difference in this foundation whatsoever. Um, I do want to pick up the dewy one and see how that one goes. But overall, the foundation and the powder are the same, so there's no difference in that. Okay, let's go in with this concealer. Now, I do not have any blush or anything. I'm just doing reviews on this. I swatched this on my hand. This is more of a, this is a medium. It's a camouflaging concealer. Camouflages imperfections in dark cir circles, full coverage, high resistance, undetectable finish. So let's see how this performs. Wow, that came out fast. It looks dark, but look at, see it looks dark right there. But look at it. I need you guys closer so you can see. See, this is more like yellow undertone, I want to say. I put too much on my hand. But I have not tried it, so I just tested it on my hand, like I said, so... I am interested to see how it performs. This is yellow undertone. The other one was like pink undertoned. So I'm just going to take this. First, I'm going to wipe it off. I don't know why I didn't wipe it off before. That's disgusting. Real Techniques Contour Brush, because I love this for concealer. And just start blending this concealer in. I like my Maybelline Fit Me, so let's see if this replaces it, but I doubt it will because that's like one of my favorite drugstore concealers. It does blend very easily though, do you see that? Especially with this brush. Yes, it's definitely a good concealer, guys. I can tell right away when I like something. I don't need to wait. Makeup-wise, if I put it on my face, I can tell right away if I like it or not. And I do like this concealer. Definitely covers it up. Look at that. Perfect match. Unbelievable. Oh my god. I'm in love with this. So if you are tan skin like me, pick up the medium one. Don't be scared of the color on the outside because the color on the inside is light. So don't be scared of that. And it's yellow undertoned. The light one and the tan, no, the tan one. There's a tan one, I think. It's called light tan. That one is more pink undertone, and it's not going to work well with your skin unless you like that highlighted, really highlighted look under your eyes, which I don't. So, but this is great. I like this. I will see how it wears throughout the day and let you guys know if it cakes up or creases because I will be wearing this throughout the day. Now I'm just going to set it with that powder. But yeah, this is a great concealer, guys. I just tried it, but I know I like it already. 
Okay, last thing we're going to review is this Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara. Tinted Gel Mousse Plus Ball Brush. And mine is in Auburn. And it says, let's see here. Brush onto eyebrows and light upward strokes. Follow along brow contour for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already know how to do that. But I'm used to using a the Anastasia Brow Wiz and that clear brow gel and the or the It Cosmetics um, Universal Brow Power Pencil. So let's see how this works. This is in Auburn. I'm interested to try this. This is what it looks like. Oh my. I have to look in the mirror. <laughs> well. Definitely, it's very easy to work with. I don't like the ball though, it's like freaking humongous. Yeah. And it hurts, it's hard. Ow. Do you see that? Ouch! This ball right here is hard as a freaking rock. The color is good. But I don't like the big ball. Fail! I'm not going to do the other eyebrow. I'm just going to finish this one. Yeah, guys. I don't like this. Ow! It's like pinching me. It hurts. Dang, yeah, ow, that, no, mm -mm. Okay, so this was an epic fail, the Maybelline brow drama, I don't know, there's one eyebrow, and there's one not done. Maybe I have to play with it some more, but I do not like the freaking ball, it hurts, it feels like freaking someone's put needles in my eyebrow every time I freaking comb through it. Like they're just stabbing me with a needle. Shit hurts. Mm -mm. I don't like this. That's a fail. The last thing to test out is the new Maybelline Bloom lipsticks. I got one in Blushing Bud and Barely Bloomed. I think I'm going to go with Blushing Bud. These are very creamy, and they smell amazing. I love these lipsticks. Okay, guys. That's my review on the Maybelline stuff I picked up. The Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation and Powder. Like I said, they're the same as the regular Maybelline Fit Me. I will be picking up the Dewy one to see how that works out. So, I mean, if you want to pick it up, whatever. It's your choice, but to me, it's the same exact thing. The primer is nothing. I'm not pleased with that. The concealer is a bomb.com. I love this concealer. I am absolutely stunned and amazed by this concealer. I love it. I'm glad I picked it up. The brow drama, I hate this shit. Epic fail. Do not like it. If I could return it, I would, but I'm not going to. Uh, I don't know. The product inside is good, but the ball hurts like a mofo, so I might have to use something else to work with this but I do like the color of it so and the lipsticks are amazing so that's my review on some of the new Maybelline products I picked up do not waste your money on this product or this to me they suck
So that was my little review, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye.